You want to know what's out there as much as you want to know what's out there. So, are UFOs real? That is the question a congressional committee was talking about today. Good evening, and thanks for staying with us at 6:30. I'm Denise Valdez, and I'm Brian Loftus. Lawmakers haven't held a hearing like this in half a century. Defense officials telling lawmakers they have some 400 reports from military personnel of UFOs or UAPs. And while they can explain some, they simply cannot explain others. Washington correspondent Alexander Limon reports. There's a thing. In the first hearing of its kind in 50 years, defense officials confirmed sightings of unidentified flying objects, or as the military calls them, UAPs. But... We have detected no emanations uh, within the UAP task force that, that, is, uh, that would suggest it's anything non-terrestrial. Officials said there have been no collisions between U.S. aircraft and the objects, but there have been 11 near misses. And have we attempted to communicate with those objects? No. We don't even put out a alert saying, you know, identify yourself. Some of the objects, like the triangles in this video, were later classified as drones. But defense officials said there are sightings they still can't explain. The Defense Department says it is taking reports seriously and that it continues to expand its office that's gathering and analyzing reports of UFOs. It's not about finding alien spacecraft, but about delivering dominant intelligence. Some lawmakers said the sightings could be evidence of secret U.S. or foreign technology. But California Congressman Adam Schiff was unsure. There is something there, measurable by multiple instruments, and yet it seems to move in directions that are inconsistent with what we know of physics or science. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. After the public hearing, a classified version of the hearing on UFOs continued behind closed doors. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.